And I, I wonder as well, because we've had some conversations before, disclaimer for everyone, um, but um, I was just wondering how that sort of fits into your own, um, your own work, this idea of nostalgia as almost genocidal impulses. Um, I mean, I think about, God, where do I start? I mean, there's the kind of personal as, you know, Zimbabwean, and then there's the kind of intellectual that I'm kind of trying to parse through as an outsider within the Namibian context. And, you know, in Zimbabwe, patriotic history revolves around Shona nationalism, right? There's the fact that when we think about the major resistance struggles of which there have been two, the first one was primarily fought and initiated by the Ndebele, and yet we call it the Chimurenga which is the Shona word for struggle, as opposed to umvukela, which is the Bele word for it. And there are so many ways that in the construction of the nation state, you know, the Ndebele people have been kind of written out of history, um, you know, obviously kind of culminating in, in, in President Mugabe literally attempting to exterminate the Ndebele people in the, in the 1980s during um, the Gukarahundi. And, you know, there hasn't, you're, you're not really supposed to talk about the Gukurahundi because, you know, Mugabe, not left office, but was removed from office, you know, a couple of years ago and passed away. And now the current president was a part of that as a part of the military apparatus. So I don't know. I'm trying to think about, you know, in me being embracing Zimbabweness, what my responsibilities are as a Shona person. Um, whether it is or how it is possible for me to be excited about Zimbabwe as a project um, when I have a politic of not being excited about any nation state. And mm -hmm. when my Zimbabweness was constructed to necessarily come at the expense of Ndebele people and other, and the Shangani people who are right now, the government is trying to push off of their land to, um, to grow feed, um, for, for livestock. Um, and yet this is the country that was celebrated for taking land back from the whites. Um, and then of course, in the Namibian context, you know, you have this history of the Herero and Nama genocide that the Namibian government is calling the Namibian genocide because we all suffered under colonization. And yet not everybody was specifically targeted for annihilation um, by the Germans. So. Yeah, I, I don't have answers. I think I'm, I'm for the first time having to confront it in a way that is both kind of academic and scholarly and also deeply personal. And I'm, I'm trying to be honest, like, like you're trying, like you're being honest. Um, but, you know, it's this, it, it's weird when you think about like the stakes, right? Like, I don't know if my parents were around for the golden age. I think my mom left right after independence um yeah i don't i don't know 